So what's the difference between the score and the triple score? Well, if you'll just keep watching, I'll show you the difference. Noak to Metal Detectors has released a affordable simultaneous multi-frequency. It's been out for a while, and it's the score. It's the green one. I showed you that. And this one right here is the brand hammer new triple score. This one came out in June of 2024, and I'm telling you, this baby right here is awesome. I, I like the score as well. Matter of fact, I've already found silver with the score, and I haven't been out metal detecting much this year just because I've been a very busy person. <laughs> but uh, I have now the triple score, and you've probably seen a couple videos. If you haven't, just uh, click up in the corner there. You'll probably start seeing a little thing there pop up and tell you all about those machines. But I got several of you that's asking, Stephen, what's the difference between the different scores? Now, I don't have the double score. The double score is the blue. Of course, this one's red. And then you have the score, and it's green. I do want to show you the differences between the score and the triple score. And there's actually quite a bit of difference. There's a lot of, a lot of features that the triple score has that the double score does not. So if you'll just hang in here real, real quick, and we'll look at each one of these features, and I'll show you the menus on both of these detectors and let you see the differences between the two. And you can make your own educated decision on which detector you want. Some people don't want a bunch of options. Some people want to turn on and go. And that's going to be your score. And then you're going to have the ones that they don't really quite want the legend, but they want more features than the score has. So the double or triple score might be what you want. Let's do that, and I'll get back with you at the end of this video. All right, y'all. So here they are. Here's the two units, and I've already got the back lights on them, so that way you can see them really good. But I've got the score right over here, and we'll look at that menu here in just a minute. And then over here is the triple score. And I'm uh, really excited to show you these two detectors and show them side by side in the control boxes. But as you can see, just uh, first things first, the control box is the exact same. Looks the same and feels the same. All the buttons are the same as well. And these buttons are really cool. They've got a, um, it's, it's almost like a rubbery feel to them, plasticky rubbery feel. And you can, you know, I've got the vol I've got all the sensitivity turned down so that way they don't go nuts inside, and they're right next to each other too. So got the sensitivity turned down, but the buttons are real easy to push, and uh, nothing hard, nothing aggravating. But uh, these two units are both waterproof to 16 feet, and I promise you they are waterproof. Let me get my old foot out of the way there. But uh, as you can see, first and foremost, you can see those coil sizes down there. Those coil sizes. When you buy the score, just the regular score, it will come with the LG30 coil right there. It will come with that coil right there. And then when you buy the double or triple score, it will come with, if you get the Pro Pack now, if you get the Pro Pack, it will come with 30 and it will come with the 24. And the 24, as I told you in one of my last videos, the 24 is my favorite coil. So let's keep going here. I want to show you basically the screens and I'm going to kind of scroll, uh, scroll in here just a little bit so you can see them. And, uh, but basically, like that, they look just the same. And I love how Nocta has all of their machines very basic, but also uniform. Everything's uniform. Everything looks the same throughout. So over here on your far left, both machines has your battery power. And it has it on the score and the triple score. And you have your battery power there. And then also... If you want to look at your different program modes, or your different programs, I like to call them modes. Some people like to call them programs. So you have your park mode, or park program. You have your field, and you have your beach on the score. And over here on the triple score, you have your park, your field, your beach, and the new relic mode. I have not done any testing with the relic mode yet except just when I took it outside the day I took it out of the box and just slid it over there just to see what it'd do. So no testing has been done on that on my end. So there's your four modes on the score, triple score. You get the three modes on the score. Also, you have this bar right here. You can actually notch things out of this bar on, I know you can do it on this machine. I'm not real sure on this one. Let's go to this menu button right here and no you cannot so you here you have this same bar here i'll get into these letters right here that's on these machines i'll get in that in just a minute but i want you to see this bar here that you can actually 
pull up the menu button which is this button down here at the bottom and you can actually notch things out right there and to add or subtract something do you see what I just did right there it just disappeared hit it again see that now I'm going to slide this over you go you plus it so this is custom so if I want to go custom say I don't want to hear 60 say if I don't want to hear the 60 if something comes up as a 60 which a lot of times will be a big old nasty can I can hit that right there and it will it will uh, discard me from hearing targets that ring up that high now this is the custom setting and it will save it under that profile right there profile number one under the field mode each mode you can save it in and do customization on each mode so say if that's all I want to do just close that out so this is your biggest difference between the triple score and your score is you can notch out and discriminate out things off of this cursor bar here you cannot do it with a score but you can with the triple score so you can really customize this thing in particular let's talk about these letters these letters right here so you can go down here and you would hit this and I believe this is on every other every machine you had hit this button right here which is your discriminate button and your pinpoint if you just push and release or press and release it goes from A which is all metal to G that right there is ground and then F that's ferrous and then C is custom and it actually notched out another one right there alright so next down the list here is you have your M right here this M3 and then on this side I'll let you see this triple score it has four kilohertz so your M's over here your kilohertz are over here so what does that mean if it pops over here on the left side with an M that means you're running in multi frequency if it pops over here on the right you're running in single frequency and it tells you what frequency you're running in this thing's probably going to talk for just a second because I'm going to cycle through these but I'm going to show you the different frequencies that this machine runs in so here we go and you hit this button right here with the frequency right there you hit that and it goes from 4 to 15 to 20 and then it goes to M1 M2 and M3 and of course back to 4 and you can do that on this one as well so 15 is your signal frequency on the score and then M1 M2 and M3 I'm not sure of the multi frequencies that this thing runs in but I'm gonna say it's probably similar to this one here that's proprietary information from Nocta even nomads like myself does not have that information all right on the score let's talk about this bar right here this is your sensitivity the sensitivity I'm gonna it's gonna make a racket I'm sorry but I want you to see it so it runs up to five levels of sensitivity I'm gonna drop back down to one so it can keep it kind of quiet and this one here has a little bit more so you hit the plus button on this thing and then it goes up I'm gonna talk here in a second to 15 so you got 15 levels of sensitivity a little more customization with the triple score so with the score itself you got five levels with the triple score you got 15 levels this bar over here on the right is your depth gauge and each one of these is roughly two and when you have a target that's just two inches deep this one right here will ring up or lighten up if it's like three to four inches five inches this one here ring, uh, will pop up and darken up and then like a two two inch increments kind of all the way down and you get down here to these filling up this whole thing you're gonna be digging a deep hole that's your main control box and that's on both units right both units I showed you this right here as well this right here is how you can customize from your uh, and it saves your profile and how you want it, how you have each one of these modes set up it has that saved under that profile as you can see this little dot right here this little white dot on both machines that is a uh, light and when you are charging the, this detector it will turn it will be red when you're charging these detectors when it is fully charged it will turn green and that's both units so just keep that in mind let's talk about this box right here the control box of course right there in the middle is your speaker your internal speaker built in and then your coil it plugs it on the right 
and then right there in the middle is your light that uh, shines toward the coil and then here on the left side is the plug-in where you plug it's a plug-in to charge and to download the latest updates which there's a new update on the score series and as well as wired headphones now we've already talked about the score menu when we were looking at it compared to the simplex ultra but i want to show you that again so we will hit this button right here again you just push again if you press and hold it it's going to turn this machine off because it's a power button but if you just press and let go this is what it'll do boom there's your menu for the score this is going to be your volume so let's move over here to your volume I don't like to run that speaker up too high but I like to use headphones anyway and then this right here is going to be your uh, backlight for the screen as you can see you can turn it all the way off or you can have it automatically turn off after so after it's you know stays idle for five ten seconds whatever I like to have the back backlight on even the daylight but this is really nice to have and you can leave it on all the time then you got your Bluetooth so you can hook up the low latency Bluetooth headphones of course Nokta does sell those or you can find some on Amazon if you wish to do so so looking at this icon here this is your ground suppressor so you have that setting as well and that looks like it except for this little arrow right here you slide that baby over and it has that little plus sign so you hit the plus and that right there is your vibrate function and so you have your vibrate and then your up turns that you hear that it's got five levels just of a vibration I didn't realize that that's something new I didn't know <laughs> alright then you have your, your your light that come on right there who oh, it's shined up on that note to sign right there that note to logo check it out just one setting just either on or off all right so that's pretty much your menu on the score detector so what I want to do is I want to show you the things that are not on the score but are on the triple score again I showed you up here you have the different programs or modes um, the relic mode um, I'm still learning on that so I'm not going to give you a full uh, detail on the relic mode just not gonna be able to do that for you because I don't know everything about it yet but I will show you the menu again you hit this button here just a short press this right here is your ground balance and you hold down the pinpoint button alright no beep it doesn't give you a beep sound I know in the past they have put a beep sound on it like I think the original simplex plus it had a beep sound but there you go it's now ground balanced and then from here you're gonna move it over here to your um, recovery speed of course the faster your recovery speed, the, the, the faster you can swing that coil, and it will reset to find that next target. But it will also uh, hinder you from going down in the ground. So it has five levels for recovery speed. So I would probably run it on two or three if you like to go slower. I like to go kind of slow. So that way I can find those deeper targets. This is going to be your volume on your external speaker built into the control box and it has six levels I like two three something like that and then and of course I'm wearing headphones so that it's not even gonna make any sound anyway and then this right here is your backlight we talked about that here's your Bluetooth headphones of course if you buy the pro pack for the triple score it will come with the headphones you simply hit the plus sign and it will turn the brains of the Bluetooth on these right here will start cycling looking for a Bluetooth device see that and once you turn those headphones on it will find them and then they'll be connected so I'm not using them right now so I'll turn that off save that battery here's your ground suppressor we talked about that and you can set that to ooh it has settings on it just like the other one does and then our next thing is your profile you have E1 2 three four all right you have three different profiles you can set up on this machine and that's per mode this right here we showed you how to do that how you can customize your discrimination and you do that with this icon right here and then also this watch this right here this is going to open up a whole world of more options look at that <laughs> all right so this right here is your di different tones you can run this thing in pitch tone but then you got one tone. You can just do one tone. It has one tone no matter what you're going over. Whether it's gold or a piece of aluminum foil or silver. One tone. 
Then you got two tones. So you're going to have a tone down here for your lower, and you're going to have a tone up here for your upper. Three, it's going to split it up. I'm probably going to have iron, as a low, like a low grunt. Mid tone, it's going to be like your nickels and rings. Then you got your high tone, and that's going to be your silver and your copper and things of that nature. Then you got four. Then it just splits it up more, and your tone breaks are a little bit different. Six as well. Six is pretty good. My favorite is 60. I like a tone for each thing I'm looking for. I just, I like it. It just, it sounds good. It's a beautiful sound. This right here is your iron audio. You can turn that up. Of course, there's your iron. Here's your, here's your iron from 1 to like 11, 12, something like that. And you can turn that iron audio volume up if you want to, so you can hear that iron really loud. Or you can turn it down. So, you know, you don't want it louder than your you're here in silver I wouldn't say I'm gonna leave it on like three this uh, icon right here is your tone breaks so you can set that up and you can set it up where you want those tone breaks to be I'm gonna leave it where it is right there and then this right here is your threshold it's gonna give you that sound now listen I want you to hear it. it's gonna give you a threshold sound like a gold prospector detector listen See how high it goes. So it goes to 30. You hear that? When you go prospecting or you're looking for really small jewelry on the beach or whatever, you can turn that right there on. And when you go over something, you may not hear a beep, beep, beep. You may, it may just go, and it may just stop. You may just stop hearing the uh, threshold. So that's also um, a neat, a neat feature on this triple score. Then right here, again, you have the five settings of vibration. That's cool. And then you also have the light as well. Shining down there on the coil and the note to logo to the ground. I should have been using that the other day when I tested this thing at, at night, but I forgot. So we're going to leave that light off. Drop that menu back down. And that is your differences, y'all, between the score and the triple score. Something I had to check because I couldn't remember. It doesn't matter what score detector you buy, whether it's the score, double, or triple. Both the upper and lower shafts are carbon fiber. So that's going to cut down on your weight. And that's for both of them. Both units have it. I have it tucked in there pretty good right now. So you can't see it. But they are there, I promise. So you get the carbon fiber shaft on any score that you purchase. Upper and lower shafts are that way. And this is how they look. They look just like that. But that is your difference. That is your difference between these two detectors and that's your control box and mainly just get out there and hunt and again this relic mode on here i'm going to try to do a video on just the relic mode but i'm going to have to spend some time on it when you're in this mode here you cannot switch over to one frequency it's going to run in multi in beach and it's going to run in multi in relic so that's a good that's a good uh, thing to know there as well but that's the changes that's the that's the differences right there guys that's pretty much the differences and uh, I'll really show y'all some more stuff with the relic mode on the triple score in time I don't do a lot of stuff on the beach so you may have to get stuff about the beach maybe from DTEC Sussex you may have to get some information from him on the beach mode because he spends a whole lot more time on the beach than I do he's closer to the ocean than I am I'm about four and a half hours away from it so but anyway that's the two units and uh, I'll meet you back at the relic wall so if you're interested in either one of these metal detectors or the score or any of them period and you have no idea what you're looking for and you want some further instruction you want some further knowledge and education please contact me uh I, you can you can contact me through the comment section down below you can contact me also through facebook southern relics you can just go to type in southern relics and boom you'll find us you'll find the channel and uh, you can ask a question through messenger on there i'll take care of that for you and also at the bottom down here if you click on the community tab or whatever or the about tab you can actually find the, the email for Southern Relics. And I was telling somebody the other day, and I'll go ahead and throw this out there. I'm not a humorous guy. I don't have that built into me. Chris does, and but Chris isn't with us very much. And he's not with me very much to metal detect uh, like we used to do back in the day, right? So you don't get a lot of humor in our videos, and I'm sorry. We just don't. Um, I'm, I'm more of a straightforward, let me just show you show you this show you that and, and i'll throw some humor out there if, if it's in my mind but if it ain't oh well but anyway 
again if you're interested in one of these metal detectors the score series anything like that please just go check them out at kelly co if you have questions about them contact me or you can go to kelly co and they have that chat thing you can chat with them and they can talk to you about it but anyway hope you have a good day god bless we'll see you next time and always remember to treat other people how you want to be treated see you